Having recently surpassed a human population of 7 billion, agriculture has remained the heart of civilization on Earth. And for an issue that goes straight to the heart of humanity, world agriculture today is plagued by facts that cannot go unnoticed. Facts that leave billions of people in dire need of food and innovative agricultural technologies for sustainable food production now and in the future. Africa. Though a continent with an abundance of rainfall, natural resources, and fertile agricultural land, Africa is perennially plagued with a food crisis, predominantly as a result of poor farming methods and a lack of proper supportive infrastructure and policies. Somalia. Somalia's food and farming situation is a unique example of the dire state of Africa's agricultural sector. Known for its strategic location at the Horn of Africa, Somalia was once a booming center of commerce and dominated the regional trade market. The country is privileged with rich agricultural lands, abundant livestock, and a long coastline with valuable natural resources. However, as a result of decades of conflict, the nation is now being overwhelmed with constant drought, lack of agricultural productivity and policy, and renewed armed conflict resulting in one of the world's worst refugee crises with well over 1.5 million people displaced within Somalia or fleeing to neighboring countries. This is Jama Ibrahim Elmai. He manages a farm in the Diri Ma'an county of the Odul region in northern Somalia. Despite the land being fertile and full of the appropriate nutrients, agricultural productivity has been very low for Jama. Due to a lack of knowledge specific to vegetable production practices, his farm does not yield enough tomatoes to sell to the market in return for cash, leaving him little to nothing to invest back into the farm. Added to his list of struggles, Jama is unable to afford to send his children to school, but rather needs them working at the family farm. Like Jama, the situation is no different for other farmers in Somalia. Abdullah Abdullah, another farmer in the region, also suffers from the same low productivity with his farm. Without the proper building blocks of knowledge, a lack of agricultural inputs and a lack of governance and agricultural policy. Any efforts made by local farmers to re-establish and sustain agricultural stability in Somalia are left wasted. Despite the billions of donor aid dollars that have been poured into Somalia in recent years, Somali citizens are still suffering at a grand scale. The large amounts of donor funds and food aid injected into the Somali economy have not made any meaningful impact on the impoverished state, suffering from food insecurity and low agricultural productivity. Over the past years, it has been much more convenient for locals to be dependent on foreign aid than to be reliant on expensive homegrown goods. Ideally, Somalia, with its abundance of natural resources in livestock, agriculture and fisheries should not be a country suffering from food shortages and starvation. With the second largest coastline in Africa, it has the potential to be an agriculturally self-reliant country and a regional economic capital. However, because of the lack of proper management of these resources, Somalia has yet to reach its potential and has seen much civil strife, violence and poverty. To meet its domestic demand for food, food import dependence in Somalia has reached an all-time high. Over the past several years, billions of dollars of food aid has been poured into Somalia, helping the nation meet short-term dietary requirements. However, for a country to be food secure, it must enhance its long-term strategic goals and create opportunities for investment and employment in key sectors of the economy such as agriculture, livestock, and fisheries. When the economic state of the country is conditioned by the amount of aid, then it makes it extremely difficult for local farmers like Jama to successfully produce and sell his agricultural produce in a market where the cheaper, if not free, food aid is preferred. Actually, like the food aid that's coming into Somalia, 
where the farmers are unable to compete with this free food that is given especially coming during the harvest time so this is really a major problem and the drought in 2011 of course with all the good intentions of bringing food and cash and everything into Somalia uh, it will have or, or it had also its own negative aspect of it so the food aid is a continuous process and this is something that has been uh, has been going on for a long time and really affecting uh, the production and the farmers' performance. Somali Agriculture Technical Group, better known as SAJ, is an organization dedicated to assisting in the reconstruction of Somalia and its agricultural heritage. SAJ employs a unique mix of both practical and scientific expertise to assist Somali farmers, guiding them to new and innovative approaches for a more efficient agricultural production. Well, SATG stands for Somali Agriculture Technical Group. It is a, a non-profit organization that was established in 2001 in Charlotte, North Carolina. So basically, uh, the, the, the mission uh, and the objectives of SAG is to strive for peace and prosperity through sustainable agriculture development. Saj's unique and successful approach has really made them a leader amongst NGOs in Somalia, earning partnerships from world-renowned organizations and academic institutions such as USAID, DAI, FAO, UNICEF, CIMIT, and the University of Minnesota. Their approach is straightforward and highly effective. Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man how to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. Saj focuses on real-world practical applications when working in cooperation with partners and farmers. Saj implements innovative ideas and uses the latest technologies through rigorous trials and evaluation studies on the ground. Over the years, Saj has been involved in a wide range of development programs and research projects geared towards obtaining real-world solutions to agricultural and developmental challenges facing the Somali people. In one project with CIMIT, Saj took the initiative with the use of new technology to improve the production of maize, Somalia's most important food crop. Saj's initiatives and supported programs are mainly aimed at solving the problem of continuous dependence on food aid and food imports in Somalia by providing local farmers with tailored innovative solutions. These solutions in turn increase agricultural productivity and household incomes and ultimately raise the nation's gross domestic product. <laughs> Appropriate agricultural technologies are fundamental in enhancing food security and alleviating poverty in Somalia. 
The adoption of appropriate technologies by farmers is the basis for increasing agricultural production, which in turn contributes to improved food security and poverty alleviation. After two decades of disarray and dysfunctional agriculture systems in Somalia, Saj is playing a major role in paving the way for the introduction of innovative approaches to technology testing and transfer throughout the country. Saj also provides tailored support to different organizations that require training and workshop facilitation services in Somalia. Saj has run several workshops throughout the years on behalf of various stakeholders, including representatives from the Ministry of Agriculture in Somaliland and Puntland, international and local NGOs, agro-dealers and independent experts. Well, uh, Saj has taken uh, a number of uh, initiatives uh, in the past uh, few years that we uh, have been engaged in the agriculture uh, sector in Somalia. Among the initiatives that we have uh, taken includes, for example, introduction uh, and testing of technologies uh, and dissemination of technologies as well. This we have done in various parts of Somalia. We have done it in Somaliland in connection with Amud University and DAI. We're doing it in South Central Somalia and we have done it in, uh, in Puntland as well. There are many objectives to these Saj related workshops. Some of them are to understand the current and emerging context of agriculture in Somalia, to identify the key technical and institutional opportunities for agricultural reform in Somalia, to develop a list of strategic options that Saj can facilitate and implement. The goal of these strategies is to ultimately enhance delivery of agricultural support and research services. And finally, to identify and develop modalities, including resources to fast track the implementation of agricultural services. Well, the vision for 2020 uh, is to increase the production per unit area as well as a productivity for the whole the economic sector in Somalia, like the agriculture, livestock, and fishery as well. Now, by increasing the production, you basically creating more jobs for the younger generation, for the youth in particular. And also you're increasing the revenue by seeking the local as well as international markets. Now, two good examples that are working at the moment is the example for the sesame production in the middle Shevelle area, which is really generating revenue for the country by exporting the sesame to the Middle Eastern countries. And the other example of success story in the country for export of livestock animals into the Middle Eastern country. So this is, you know, the livestock is a major, major revenue generating um, sector. And we need also to build other sectors as well by increasing the production and productivity and also putting up the whole value chain of the agriculture system together. Now, by doing this and engaging in these activities, the vision for 2020 is to increase the production and bring peace, stability, and prosperity into the country. And this ties up nicely with our vision of side, side vision, which is to strive for peace and prosperity through sustainable agriculture development.